Blessings and greetings, my Agbede people and friends around the world. It's Nigerian Mindset and I'm Dr. Nana Akezi. This is another wonderful episode on Agbede, the people and our great kingdom. I perceive that this series has become a must watch simply because I am inviting you all on a journey with me to unveil the great qualities about Agbede Kingdom where I hail from. It is a journey into a great exposition of a people, a culture and love for humanity. In this journey, I will share my views and experiences on how and why Etsako as a whole and Agbede in particular is a peaceful face is a peaceful place, an interesting place to visit indeed. In my view, the culture of Agbede is rooted in great human management culture. The affirmation skills is primordial and truly predates modernity. The elders of Agbede Kingdom must really have great insight knowledge on diversity and cultural differences to have managed the Muslims and Christians for centuries. The world may like to learn from them. Esako clan leaders in general have a unique way of putting their people in line to have this sort of relationship of diversity. Trust me, when you visit a circle land, you will see how people relate with one another. They are great imams, great sheikhs, and they are pastors too, right? Some of them were known. Between neighboring cities and towns, irrespective of the religion, they practice without clashes. All those big imams and sheikhs and some pastors and the people of the of Agbede Kingdom and the Esako in general. No clashes at all. There is this song by Madame Agdaobesi, May her soul rest in peace, that I loved when I was growing up. The meaning of the lyrics is very, very powerful. And the song goes like this. Uyame, uyame, no dobe, Uyame, uyame, lulu me o. Yebu yame, uyame, no dobe o. Agbe mi o o se. Bagbo lo gyo nenye o. Wow, that's so powerful. Also, mini ba rezo benegbe. Mama lo, agata waga lo lo so mo ho mama lo. Wow. Asa mini ma reza benegbe. Mama lo, agata waga lo lo so mo ho mama lo. Wow. Madam Agbaobesi, may her soul rest in peace. You know, this, that song is powerful. With this type of mindset of the late Madame Agbapesi and the people of Esako, little wonder why the Christians and Muslims are coexisting without any problem at all. The Agbada Kingdom elders, the clerics, the Imam, the Sheikh, the sons and daughters of Agbede see Christians as normal human beings, right? We all know that we as a people are created by one God. That's my view and that I think that is right. No one that I know has more than two eyes. I don't know of anyone, I don't know of anyone who has more than two eyes, right? Two ears, one mouth. You know, one body. So that means we are created by one God. But the different people believe in different religion. And Agbede Kingdom people 
understood that from the get-go. And they handled this situation with great candor. And there is a big lesson the world needs to learn, in my view. I encourage people from all over the world to visit the elders of our kingdom and learn how to manage Christians and Muslims to avoid unnecessary wars and ethnic fight and all of that. It's not necessary. Killing people because they do not believe in what you believe, that is ridiculous. You should visit Agbede Kingdom for some lessons, right? Now, in my view, Agbede Kingdom is like the proverbial city on the hill that cannot be hidden. Agbede people are very proud people, trust me, in a good way. They love their culture. Agbede women love and respect their husband. The men are often served dinner in beautiful plates with cover, carried by well decorated tray and to the dinner place. The women really respect their husband. In fact, the kingdom is an amazing community to grow up in. Agbede town is in Esako West, like I told you. Esako West local government area in Edo State, Nigeria. Agbede is an agrarian community who built their culture around Islamic religious belief mixed with Western culture. A typical youth in Agbede like to wear jeans and white t-shirts or sometimes the kaftan. If you want to do the hijab as a lady, no questions asked, you can do that. But it's not typical, okay? So you can understand that type of kingdom or that type of community. Agbede people are liberal-minded people. They have liberal mind, and yet deep-rooted in Islamic religious beliefs. The Agbede kingdom and the people of Agbede are unique in many ways. Now, having known a bit about Agbede kingdom and its rich culture, there are some issues I would like to address. And I will be talking about them as the series continues in various episodes to come. I will be asking the elders to look into the girl children, the education of the girl children, and the empowerment of our women. It is critical that we allow our girls to go to school. We need to do that. Allow our guests to choose their husbands. I cannot even imagine that I have to be, you know, I, that I could not choose my husband. So we need to allow our girls to choose their husband. Empower our women who are already married. Because I know of a lot of people who are married and they really need empowerment. Then the issue of polygamy is another critical one. I grew up in a polygamous home. Trust me, it's not funny and it's not something that I want to talk, I really want to talk about polygamy. It's not really funny growing up in a polygamous home. So it will be of great service to the community to look into that too. We will continue from, you know, from here next time because I better us a place that people need to visit and see what is going on but there are some other issues also in the kingdom that we should be addressing and have espousing what how we can make it better okay as children of god growing up in a community we want to be loved and experience love right so you also you need to give what you have so we are going to be talking about all of this Next time. Also, mini ma reza benegbe. Mama lo gagata wa gelo lo so woko. Mama lo. My friends around the world, let
let us learn from the Agbede Kingdom on how to live in harmony, Christians and Muslims coexisting without issues at all. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.